My name is Maddie and I'm the president for this year. And this is the SAA info session. So the mission of SAA is to facilitate interactions between student and alumni and to enhance the student experience by providing opportunities that strengthen their lifelong loyalty to UCLA. So we do this through a few different ways. Um, most of them are programming that bring the UCLA campus together and they're put on by our dedicated members. So we are a group of 100 undergraduate members who put on all of these events in order to bring students and alumni closer together in meaningful ways. So the structure of our organization, as I mentioned, we have 100 undergraduate members. Um, 10 of those members are board members who you will see talk today. Um, and those board members run our nine executive committees. We have two advisors and the one mission that I just mentioned. Um, these are our wonderful advisors. This is Allison Beckman and Christina Ruiz, and they work with the Alumni Association. Um, and they really just work with us throughout the year, oversee and guide us throughout all our endeavors and really are there as a big support system for us as we put on these events. So the board of directors, um, as a board, we are responsible for the growth management and direction of all committees, events and programs. Um, each director is responsible for their own committee of anywhere from nine to 15 people. Um, and we all work together to align the Student Alumni Association with the Alumni Association to make sure that our missions align with each other. Um, so the 10 members of the board are myself, the president, and then the nine executive committee directors. So these are our committees. Um, we have professional committees, spirit committees, and tradition committees. Um, we also have two committees, the Internal Relations and Leadership Development Committee, that are dedicated strictly to the internal development and bonding of our members. Um, and you'll hear a little bit more about these committees as the directors speak about them. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that when you are applying to SAA, you are applying to the organization as a whole. Um, not to a specific committee. So you will be asked your preferences, but those preferences are not guaranteed as you're accepted into SAA first and then placed on a committee after that. Um, these are the requirements. I wanna mention briefly this little asterisk here. Um, requirements and events are subject to change as the COVID-19 pandemic continues. So this is where it's currently at. Um, as things progress, I'm sure you all know things are changing and we are being fluid as things happen. Um, as of now, we have Tuesday night meetings that are mandatory 6.30 to 7.30 for all SAA, so all 100 members. And then 7.30 to 8.30 would be your com committee breakout sessions um, with your specific committees of 10 to 15 people. Um, you have co-pair office hours once a week. So if placed in SAA, you will be in a co-pairing, um, which means you will have one other person or maybe two that do the exact same job as you throughout the year. So you're never on your own here. Um, attend all hands-on programming, which will be about two events per quarter. Hands-on does also look a bit different this year. Um, everything will be virtual as of now. So working through all of that. Um, marketing on behalf of the organization and our fall retreat, which will also be virtual this year. Um, so starting with some events, this is what a typical year for us would look like. Um, we have fall quarter events that are more towards professional, like interview with a Bruin and STEM networking night, where you really get to sit one-on-one -on -one with an alumni and network or receive direct feedback on um, things that you're working through, such as an interview. Um, we also have this spirit event, the SB Bonfire and Rally, which this is what that is, and this is what it would typically look like, again, working through everything um, and we'll see how it gets there when it gets there. Um, all SA retreat, also virtual and then new member retreat. So all of you would be new members and you would go to a special retreat for new members where you would meet all of the other new members, learn a little bit more about SAA and bond a bit. Spring quarter, um, I mean, I'm sorry, winter quarter, um, there's more professional events, entertainment networking night and um, an alumni networking series event, which again, you'll get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with alumni. Um, and these are all the events that we put on that are open to all students at UCLA. Um, we also have dinners for 12 strangers, which is an amazing event where typically you would go to an alumni's home and they would host you for dinner and you would be with 12 strangers who are also UCLA students, faculty, or alumni. It's a super cool experience. Um, one of my favorite things that I get to participate in every year. Moving on to spring quarter, um, one that I will highlight here is spring thing, which is this picture right here. Um, it's basically a campus-wide talent show 
um, where people can apply to be in an audition. And then it's an amazing event put on in Poly Pavilion. And one of my other favorite things about SAA. Um, so now to meet the board of directors. So these will be the nine people in charge of the nine committees for this year. Um, just a little bit about what I do is I oversee the board of directors and conduct weekly meetings with both them and the general members of SAA. Um, I main, maintain contact with the alumni association board. So I actually sit on that board as a student voice um, and then educate members about SAA and alumni association mission, history and programs. Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I am the Alumni Relations Director for this year. And so a little bit about the committee itself. Our mission is to plan and execute events that provide students the opportunity to network and converse with alumni and gain insight into their various industries. And we also want to build and manage and maintain those network of alumni. And then we want to bring them back for SAA events this year. So a little bit about the different roles that we have on the uh, alumni relations or AR committee. So we do have an assistant director um, or AD for short. Every committee actually has one, um, but they're basically the director's right-hand man and they're in charge of committee bonding and cohesivity. Um, we also have entertainment networking night directors. Um, that event um, typically happens in winter quarter where we bring alumni back to campus or this year it'll be virtual, but um, those are entertainment alumni and we have students talk to them about career insights. Um, we also do have alumni networking series directors. They're in charge for both STEM networking night and also a fun new event and alumni connections directors, which are in charge of maintaining the SA alumni database. Um, hi guys, uh, I'm Natalie and I'm this year's Bruin Spirit Director. So just a little bit about what Bruin Spirit does. Um, we try to execute fun and long-standing traditional events that help unite and celebrate being a Bruin um, and Bruins from all parts of campus, um, including our alumni. So um, we kind of embody school spirit um, and help to excite the Bruin community through these events. Um, another part of Bruin spirit that I think is really important to note is we also try to engage seniors to ensure that they have a really spirited conclusion um, that kind of marks the end of their undergraduate experience. Um, so that's a little bit about us. And then um, a little bit about the positions on Bruin spirit. Um, so the assistant director, which we already kind of talked about, but then also the Bonfire and rally directors, which um, we're kind of crafting into something new this year, obviously with things not in person, um, we're trying to move our events to virtual spaces that kind of match the situation that um, they can handle. Um, we also have the iHeart UCLA week directors, um, which is really cool, where we just kind of celebrate UCLA um, leading up to spring sing um, during spring quarter. And then the senior spirit directors, which um, kind of bring me back to what I touched on before about celebrating seniors and helping uplift them as they um, kind of come to the end of their time at UCLA. So events for this committee um, in the fall, we have the bonfire and rally or an event centered around that um, idea and usually football. Um, spring, um, we have the iHeart UCLA week and then quarterly senior spirit events um, that are kind of up to the discretion of the directors. All right, what's up everyone? My name is Ava and I'm leading uh, the Bruin Community Committee this year. Um, Bruin Community focuses on connecting students, alumni and faculty through avenues that celebrate shared experiences and passions. So we oversee Dinner for 12 Strangers. Um, as Maddie described before, it's a really special, um, intimate event. It's easily one of my favorites here. I just think it's really unique to our school. So I'm super excited to be working with that. And we also uh, channel a lot of creative thinking into developing new programming each year. Um, in the past, we've had a comedy event, a picnic with a professor. And this fall, we organized a mentorship program for um, incoming students to connect with existing students. And next slide. Great, so in terms of committee structure, uh, we also have an assistant director. Um, there are a few Dinner for 12 Strangers directors as well as special events and community management directors. So all of these positions this year will require a lot of creativity. We've been given a really funky year, obviously. Um, so we'll have to look at campus and just see what would be most beneficial. Um, overall, we'll work to be creative and driven and flexible to bring people together. And I'm really looking forward to it. 
Awesome. Thanks, Ava. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Maya. I am the Director of External Relations. Um, so external is actually one of the newer committees within SAA. It's been around for two years. So this is our third year having it, which is really exciting. Um, so external is very focused on uh, two different things. I would say the first is sort of working on reaching out into different pockets of campus, connecting with different student groups and organizations, and really creating meaningful um, co-programming opportunities. And then the second thing is that we're also very focused on equity, diversity, and inclusion, both within SAA and within the larger um, UCLA community. And then moving on to our committee role positions. Um, so there's the assistant director. Um, there's also the campus relations director, which is really focused on creating those cross-campus collaborations. It's a very creative role, very open to interpretation. Um, so if you are forward thinking, um, creative, uh, this is a great committee slash position for you. Um, the business development director is focused on, it's very data driven. So it's focused on like post event analysis where we analyze the different demographics and groups that are attending our events. And then we kind of work on ways to maybe reach out to different parts of campus um, and create those meaningful connections. And then last but not least, we have community relations, which is focused on community service, both within SAA and within the larger Bruin community. Um, so typically every year, SAA members participate in community service events, which are usually really fun and awesome. This year, of course, is a bit different. So there's gonna be virtual events. We're still kind of working out how the logistics will pan out, but it's gonna be a lot of fun still. Um, and I'm super excited for this year. Hi everyone, so I'm Nick Simone and I'm the director of internal this year. Uh, so a little bit about internal, our mission is to create a cohesive, inclusive SAA family by planning, executing events that foster community and friendships within SAA. And then we try to keep the morale high and make sure every member is excited and proud to be a part of this organization, uh, which I think this, this committee in general will be really important this year uh, because we wanna make sure that everyone can make those friendships. So some roles, AD is very similar like all the other assistant directors. Morale directors, these people will be in charge of planning events that uh, are optional for SA members to attend, which will get you to like uh, do things that with SA members that aren't SA related. So it's no, like it's not a big event that we're doing. Um, and that could be like I am sports or like a Zoom cooking class. It really can be anything you wanna do. Um, event directors, so we have two events that we plan, holiday party at the end of fall quarter and the banquet at the end of the year. And the bottom right photo is actually a photo from banquet two years ago. Um, and so they're in charge of planning that. And then member relations directors. One of my favorite, thing that, uh, favorite things that SA has is we have a mentor program. So as a new member, you will be assigned a mentor who has been in SA for at least a year. Uh, similar interests, uh, just so that, you know, we want you to grow uh, inside of SA, not only like as a human being, but also like as a UCLA student, because we want you to become the best you can be. Um, so yeah, that's all internal. We're just really trying to be fun and set the tone for everyone else to do a great year. Hi everyone, my name is William. I'm the director for leadership development this year. Um, similar to what Nick said, we're an internal committee and we're focused on making sure our members are the best student person uh, professional that they can be. So we help promote that personal and professional growth. We do this through workshops, retreats, and events. Um, and we educate the new and returning members throughout the year um, on our organization events and mission statement. So if you ended up joining SAA, um, LD would kind of work uh, as the mentors throughout the year, making sure you know what's going on, what um, SA is all about, and also making sure that all of our members have the resources and um, things to make sure that they can serve the campus community as best they can. So we support our members so that they can support UCLA. And then the positions, we have the assistant director, the workshop directors um, present at during SA meeting on any topic they really want that can educate the members on. Um, we've done business casual presentations in the, in the past, LinkedIn workshops, resume workshops, 
just whatever uh, the workshop directors think is most important for the SA members to know. We have the member education directors, which are the direct mentors for all the new members. They plan the retreat and new member workshops before meeting for the first quarter so that um, you always know who you need, to, who you have to go to. If you have any questions about SA, they're really there, your point person. Um, and then we have the leadership event directors who usually plan winter retreat, which will obviously look a little different this year. Um, and we're planning on kind of developing that role even more. Um, so if you have um, a desire for event planning experience, that would be a great position too. Um, our events, we have the leadership development workshops, like I just talked about, the new member education program, which is before meeting for fall quarter to get everyone acclimated. Um, we have the new member retreat every year, which is just new members so that you can get to know everyone that uh, you're joining SA with. And then in winter, we usually have our whole SA winter leadership retreat, um, which again, will look different. And in spring, we try to plan an all SA spring event. Um, and throughout the year this year, there are definitely gonna be more opportunities to sort of develop in different ways that, that we're working on. So um, I'm excited for the year ahead to see how we can help our members grow. Hi everyone, my name is Robbie. I'm the media marketing director for SA this year. Um, and I'm super excited um, to be directing this committee. Um, our mission in media marketing is to help create exciting campaigns around the events that we put on um, throughout the year and um, really ensure that we have creative content going up on all of our social media channels um, to publish to the Bruin community. Um, and we really serve as kind of the external facing voice of the organization. Um, so both in terms of recruitment, in terms of the events that we put on, leadership opportunities, just ensuring that the campus community is up to date with everything that we're doing as an organization. Um, so some projects that you might be a part of on media marketing could be um, strategy or coordination around marketing campaigns for each of our events throughout the year, um, as well as developing new and innovative content to promote on all of our social media platforms. I think an emphasis on that innovation is going to be really key this year. And then positions for media marketing. Um, so we've got an assistant director. We have social media directors. So um, if you're interested in becoming an influencer for our account, um, just anyone behind kind of the social media um, efforts that are related to um, either Instagram, Facebook, any of the event promotions that we're doing, that would be under the social media directors position. Um, creative media directors are uh, responsible for a lot of the graphic design um, and more of that creative uh, skill set that's revolved uh, around a lot of the event graphics you see on this slide here. Um, and then strategic insights directors are really going to be responsible for executing the strategy. Um, what pockets of campus are we going to be reaching out to? Um, you know, who are we going to be targeting? What do these event campaigns look like? Um, so really keeping that in mind. Um, and as a plug, as you can see on the slide, if you want to follow us on Instagram at SAUCLA, um, we post a lot of updates and we'll have a lot of great posts coming up, um, especially throughout the rest of our recruitment cycle. Hi guys, my name is Emma. Um, I'm the director of professional development this year. Um, this year, And this committee is trying to provide students with the opportunities to develop professional skills while engaging with our alumni in a super meaningful way. Um, and this year we're especially trying to emphasize serving our greater UCLA community through events that specifically strengthen students to be qualified and prepared for their careers after college, especially right now when that time is so uncertain. So some different positions on this committee are the assistant director, like other committees, um, interview with the Bruin directors. So these directors get to put on the interview with the Bruin event, which is an incredible event where students are paired up with alumni in their field. And these alumni give students mock interviews where they can strengthen their professional skills, give really specific feedback and tips for how to get into that field. Um, and we do a regular IWOB, we do a pre-med IWOB for students who are specifically interested in going to medical school, and those will probably be virtual this year. Um, and then we also have a specialized programming series director. Um, this position gets to kind of choose what is most relevant to students in this time. So for example, this past spring quarter, we put on an event called Standing Out in a Standstill Economy, um, and that was run by the specialized programming series directors. Um, and then there's also external consulting directors who work with different organizations on campus to kind of provide 
professional skills and strengthen those skills in ways that are really helpful to different students. So for example, last year we put on the first gen networking night. Um, so as you can see, the events listed are interview with the Bruin, pre-med interview with the Bruin, and then a couple different specialized events that work with different communities around campus. Hi everyone, my name is Bella. I'm the director of Spring Sing this year. I'm really excited. Um, for those of you who don't know, Spring Sing is UCLA's oldest and greatest musical tradition. Um, so it really serves as a platform for all kinds of student artists on campus, whether they're musicians, dancers, visual artists, um, com comedians. Basically everyone comes together for Spring Sing to share their stories and showcase their talent. So it is really a unique opportunity for you to come in and join this team and coordinate this really large scale show that has a huge reputation for producing some really incredible Bruin artists. Um, it's historically been hosted in Poly Pavilion with audiences of over 8,000 Bruins and other people from the outside LA community. And last year we had our first virtual spring sing which had a global audience of over 16,000. Um, so depending on where we land by the end of the year, it's really gonna be exciting to see how we can take our creativity to sort of use this as an opportunity to find a whole new reimagination of what the show looks like, sort of as a way to give voice to student artists um, and use it as a platform as arts activism, um, really amplifying student artists on campus. So there are quite a few positions that you can be on as part of Spring Sing. So we have an assistant director and then talent directors who are basically in charge of picking the acts I get to perform and then sort of coaching them and mentoring them to their sort of finished performance ready piece. Um, I was at my freshman year. It's really exciting. You get to really feel like you're a large scale, scale talent agent that's helping mold these artists as they eventually make it to the stage. Um, we have judges and awards directors. So when the show is done in person, usually they're sort of like a, a judging portion. Last year, what was done is that there was a brand new celebrity mentorship program which was awesome. Basically the talent acts were paired up with celebrities, um, different musicians or dancers or professionals in their fields that were able to actually look at their pieces and meet with them on Zoom and give them the feedback. That's really exciting. Um, our company directors are basically run company, which is sort of like the SNL of UCLA. They create comedy content that's UCLA relevant. If you haven't gone on the Spring Sing YouTube page, you should and check out any of the company videos from the last few decades. They're hilarious. Um, so the company directors basically sort of tailor that and make sure that all the content is as hilarious as humanly possible. Um, and then we have our production directors that basically lead their own group that's sort of focusing on the technical aspects of the show. For in-person shows, it's sort of stage crew and sort of those physical components. Um, and then in, in the case of the virtual or hybrid settings, and it's a lot more of the technical parts of putting this entire production together. And then lastly, we have our media and outreach directors. So they're in charge of all of our social media presence, basically getting all the marketing out, outreaching to all different corners of campus so that we have a show that's really representative of UCLA. Um, so if you're interested in the arts, anything within social media, media, visual arts, this is a great, great place for you to be. Awesome. So some application information. Um, our applications are live right now. They opened last week and they are due a week from today. So Wednesday of week two, um, that is October 14th at noon Pacific time. Um, and then we'll go through those applications. We'll select people for an interview. The interviews, if you are chosen for an interview will be week three. And then um, the first all SAA meeting would be Tuesday of week four. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and email us at our email. Um, one of my board members will send that email in the chat. And then if you want to apply, um, we'll also send the link in the chat to our application. Um, if you, for some reason, don't get the link, you just go to UCLA Student Alumni Association, and it's under the Alumni Association website. Easy peasy. Um, and if you have any more questions, go ahead and send them in the chat. Otherwise, that is it for our SA info session. Thank you all for coming. So we have a question in the chat that what time are me the meetings are. All SA meetings are from 6.30 to 7.30 on Tuesdays and committee meetings for each specific committee are scheduled to 7.30 to 8.30 on Tuesdays directly after all SA meeting. But depending on the committee, um, they can reschedule the meeting to be um, a different time of week, a different time of day, so that everyone can attend. 
Um, so first year transfers are definitely accepted. We accept all grade levels um, and your, um, I very much encourage you to attend no matter what grade level you're in. So members actually cannot be in the same committee twice unless you direct that committee uh, when you're on the board of directors. So every year you'll be in a different committee and you reapply to SAA every, um, every year and there'll be a return application at the end of the year if you cho do choose to reapply. So the question is which committees interact with students the most and which ones have more interact interaction with alumni? Um, alumni relations and professional development uh, are kind of the two that uh, have the most direct contact with alumni um, because they invite people to networking nights and interview with the Bruin. So they're sending out emails and in contact with S uh, alumni all over the, all over the world. Um, and which committee interacts with students the most? I would say probably Bruin community, Bruin spirit, and Spring Sing kind of all are the more outward facing on campus activity or committees and then internal and leadership development are kind of focused on SA members themselves. Um, if there aren't any more questions, um, for those of you that are still here, um, if you are passionate about sort of serving your school or just getting involved in an organization that's really going to give you a family on campus, um, for those of us who are on this board of directors, we've been involved in SAA for quite a while. Um, and I think that speaking for all of us, it really has been sort of a pivotal part of our college experiences. Um, so obviously we're going into a very sort of bizarre year, but I think that we can all guarantee you that if you do end up being a part of our organization, um, we're really going to work super hard to create that kind of community that perhaps we're not all getting in person, but um, that's really one of our main goals. Obviously each of our committees have our own individual goals. Um, but overall, us as a team are just, we're really excited to try to create a home for you at UCLA. Um, that's kind of what all of us have gone. We've all been on different committees. So um, obviously we want to tell all of you about, you know, what our individual committees do, but really it's just about heightening your love for UCLA. Um, so if you're interested in applying, you absolutely, absolutely should. Um, and thank you all so much for coming.